Now we have the apparatus after about two and a half to three minutes. The water has heated up to the proper temperature and we can see uh, heavy illumination on the end of the tungsten rod and we're getting cold fusion. And a phenomenal amount of uh, production for 220 volts. This is the redneck version as we have it uh, still connected to a diode bridge and then of course connected to the water heater 220 volts on a separate 30 amp breaker that's a pretty heavy duty diode bridge I believe that is uh, a thousand volts 60 amp diode bridge and you can see the uh, reaction chamber has stabilized we're starting to see some pretty good production of steam primarily hydrogen you can see the bubbles and there you have it Test number two, redneck hydrogen cold fusion process.